Hello, Super Spies, and welcome back to our next episode of Super Spy Guided Reading. The word that we're going to learn today is into. The Super Spy has something super special for us today. He already told me his message. He wants us to put our best effort forward in learning the word into. He said something about into the unknown. I don't know. He said Elsa and Anna know it, so he wants us to know it as well. So we're going to learn the word into. Before we can get started, we need to make sure we have all of our super spy tools. You need your pencil and your magic reading finger. Look at that. The magic reading finger is covering our words silly reading finger. We need to also make sure we have our into worksheet and reader. Are you ready? Great job. Let's get started. The word that we're learning is the word into. You already know this word into smaller words. I-N spells the word in and T-O spells the word to. So when you put those two smaller words together to make this word, you get a word, a new word, the word in two. Let's spell it. I-N-T-O, in two. I-N-T-O, in two. Let's do it again. I-N-T-O, in two. Great job. As always, that super sneaky spy always tried to take our letters, but we already broke it down into two smaller words that we know. The first word that we said that we know was the word in. Do you remember how to spell it? I N. So the first two letters that are missing are I and N. Let's write it in the air so we can put it back in our word. I in. There he goes again. He took two. He took the last part of the word, which was the word two. Do you remember how to spell the word two? T O. Great job. So the letters that are missing are T and O. Let's write it in. Great job. We have all of our letters. We have I. N T O. I'm going to say it and you are going to spell it. Ready? The word is into. Your turn. I. Great job. I N T O. Do it again. Spell it. Your turn. Into. Great job. You would like to hear me spell it now? Well, what, what's the word? Tell me what word to spell. Okay, I'll spell the word into. Great, thank you. I-N-T-O, into. Awesome, let's spell it together. Ready, go. I-N-T-O, into. Let's spell it really loud, are you ready? I. N T O N T O. Whoa. I think we scared away the letters. Whoops. And now they're scattered everywhere. I think they're afraid of us. We have to spell them really quietly so that they can come back. What was the first letter? I N T. We got them back in order. Great job. Let's spell it together. This time, let's do it on a level two. I-N-T-O, into. Let's spell it one more time together. Ready? I-N-T-O, 
into great job. Are we ready to keep practicing with our word into? Of course you are because you are what? Super smart. So as we practice, we're going to read it. But hmm, what do super spy readers always do when they read? They read from left to right. They read from left to right. Great job, from left to right. Then they read from top to bottom. Say top to bottom. Great job, super spy readers read from left to right, top to bottom. Awesome, what do they use this for? Right, they use their magic reading finger to help them point to each word as they read. What else can our magic reading finger help us do? Right, it can help us count each word in the sentences as we read. You are super great. This magic reading finger does a lot, doesn't it? Give your magic reading finger a hug, say thank you. Awesome, are we ready to read? Get your bread, uh, readers ready. Get your brains ready. Get your reading finger ready. Let's begin. The book that we're reading today is called Into the Tent. And it has a name part on that book. Cause guess what this also is? It's also a coloring book. So it's a book that we get to read and when we're done, you get to color it whatever colors you want it to be. Isn't that awesome? So let's look at the cover of our book. I see hmm, a ringmaster, a clown, an elephant, a lion, a juggler, and some children. What do you think this story may be about? That's a really good guess. You think this story may be about a circus? I think so too, because we see all of these things at the circus. Let's read and find out. Remember, we're gonna do what with each word? Point to each word as we read. The ringmaster goes into the tent. Where does the ringmaster go? Into the tent. The Clown goes into the tent. The elephant goes where? Great job, into the tent. The Lion goes where? Into the tent. Great job. The juggler goes into the tent. The children go into the tent. I go into the tent. So now there's not a tent on your page, but I want you to draw a picture of the tent and you going inside of the tent. I'm going to draw myself. I'm going to get my pen ready. I want to draw my head. Then I'm going to draw my body. I'm going to draw me walking. Here's my foot going up, the other foot. I'm walking, I'm happy, because I'm going to the circus. I gotta put me some hair on my head. Boom, 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 boom. Oh yeah, I go into the tent. Pause here so you can draw your picture. When you're done, show me your picture. That is such a great picture. Awesome, you went into the tent too. So we saw a lion, 
an elephant, a clown, a juggler, a ringmaster, some kids, you, where does all of this happen? Like we said, at the circus. So did we guess right? We did. We used our pictures to make a guess about what our story was going to be about. And we were right. We made an inference about our story. Great job. Now we're going to work together to continue to practice the word into. We have our writing paper to help us practice. What do we need to put at the top of our paper? Our first and last name. So I'm gonna write Spy Shroud. You're gonna write Billy Bob Joe Bob, right? No, because that's not your name. You're gonna write your first and your last name. Go ahead and write your first and last name. Great job. Now what we're going to do is trace the word into, and we're gonna say it out loud as we trace it. Let's spell it one time before we start writing. Let's spell it together. Go, I-N-T-O, into. So now let's trace it and spell it while we do this, while we do it at the same time. Are we ready? Let's go, I-N-T, Oh, in two. Let's do it again. I, in, T, O, in two. Write the word. So now we have to write the word without tracing it. I want you to write the word two times. How many times? Two times. Let's write it our first time. I, N, T, O. Put two finger spaces in between that word. Write it again. I, N, T, O, N, T. Great job. If you have a parent to help you, you can cut and place your letters into this sentence. If not, you can use your pencil to write the letters. Let's read our sentence. He dove blank the pool. What word do you think goes in this blank? Into, I, N, T, O. He dove into the pool. Let's write it again. He dove where? Into the pool. I-N-T-O. Into. Now I want you to think, hmm, what is something you can go into? I've got something. Do you have something? Great, I want you to write that sentence at the bottom. I'm going to write my sentence and you're gonna write yours. Then we'll share, okay? Pause the video here so you can write your sentence. Great job. I'm going to share my sentence with you. Are you ready? It says, I will go into, because we have to use our sight word, which is what? Into, great job. I will go into the mall. I will go into the mall. What does your sentence say? Wow, great job using into. Since you're so smart and you can make sentences with into, I bet you can spell it with your eyes closed. Close your eyes. Spell the word into. Are you ready? Let me hear it. <gasps> you are super smart. Give yourself some shine. And I'm going to give you some shine too for being so awesome. So today, what sight word did we learn? We learned the sight word into. 
Let's spell it one more time before we go. I N T O. That word was into. Thanks, you guys, for enjoying our lesson today and growing your brain. Keep it up, you super spy reader.